Welcome everyone. In order to use Apple Intelligence in your iPhone, we first need to turn it on by opening up settings. Then scroll all the way down until you see Apple Intelligence and Siri. And when you select this one, one of three things will happen. The first one is you have the Apple Intelligence toggle and you can tap to turn it on or you'll have text that says turn on. Option two is you don't have the Apple Intelligence toggle. Instead, you have an error message show up right here. Option three is you don't even have the Apple Intelligence, you just have Siri and there's no Apple Intelligence toggle. So if you're having issues turning on Apple Intelligence, I will cover how to fix them with 100% success rate. However, that will be covered at the end of the video and I'll leave a timestamp in the description so you can just skip to the part of the video where you need help. If you just turned on Apple Intelligence right now, the features I show may take a couple of hours to download and it will tell you that the features are downloading right there. So I'm gonna go through iOS 26, Apple Intelligence, new features, then we'll go backwards and I'll just show every feature one by one. So first of all, when you take a screenshot, so just click release pound volume up like this, you will notice that it's gonna put you into full screen mode immediately. If for whatever reason it doesn't do that, just tap on the screenshot to go into the full screen view. And with Apple Intelligence in iOS 26, we have a new visual intelligence feature. And so how this works is if you tap search, it's going to search your screenshot in Google Images. If you tap ask, it will ask ChatGPT. If you want to search something specific with your finger, just draw a circle and then it's just going to go into the search for that current image. So you just swipe up and then it will try and match the results for the image you put in. Now the next feature, if I can get out of this, is if we open up the messages app and just select anyone you want to message and then tap the plus on the left hand side, we now have new features with the Gemmoji. So as part of the Apple Intelligence Suite, we can create AI emojis. So let's tap on Gemmoji here. And then you can see the plus at the bottom right. This allows you to merge multiple emojis at once. So tap plus and then choose the first emoji you want to merge. There we go. And then we'll choose another one. There we go. And you can choose more than two, but two is the minimum. And you can see in the middle, it uses the Apple intelligence to create a custom emoji. If you don't like this outcome, just swipe across, it will generate a new one. And you can keep on using the Apple intelligence to generate more emojis until you're happy. You can also use this text box to describe an uh, emoji that you wanna create using your keyboard and then it will generate that one. Right underneath Gemmoji is the image playground. Now I'd recommend not using it here, but instead look for the image playground app. It's just called playground in your iPhone. And this is similar to Gemmoji, but instead of generating emojis, you can generate full on images. So you change how the style of the image is generated here, and then you can type text to convert to image and then you can also choose you know, different themes and all that good stuff right there. Moreover, if you have iPhone with the camera control button in iOS 26 to get that visual intelligence feature, you can also just long press this button and then it will open up the camera. And when you take a picture here, it will use the Google search or ask ChatGPT option. If you don't have a camera control button in your iPhone, don't worry, you can go into the control center by swiping down from the far right hand side and then you should have this button here, tap on this one and it opens up the visual intelligence. If you don't have this button, tap the plus at the top left, then choose add a control and then you can look for and select the visual intelligence toggle and you can tap it to add it into your iPhone. Now, if I open up the notes app, and this applies really to anywhere where you're writing a load of text. When you open up your keyboard, 
some apps, not all, but they're going to have the new Apple intelligence icon. And when you tap on this one, you can see we have the writing tools. So what the writing tools say, that's what they're going to do. So these are just rewording your text in a certain way. So in a friendly way, professional way, precise way, proofread checks for any issues, rewrite lets you rewrite the text. And then you can swipe up to reveal more options. What they do is explained in the text itself. But when you do change something, if you tap on the empty space, so if I just go out here, any changes you set won't be saved. You need to make sure that if you do something, let's say I go to friendly here, you need to make sure you tap the yellow tick and then tap the tick again. Otherwise, your changes won't be saved. Moreover, if I create a new note, but this time I use the marker here, I can draw a rough sketch. So let's just draw like a car. There we go. And then there's this new feature in Apple Intelligence where to the left of the ruler, you have this wands. And if we tap on the wands, this is new Apple Intelligence where we can just circle our rough sketch like this. And then what it's going to do is it should turn it into a full image. So first of all, I'm going to put a descriptor, so I'm just going to say car. So it puts the image in, puts your text, and let's take a look at the final result. There we go. And so ju just based on that image, it has drawn me a car. There we go. Inside of the Photos app, there's a bunch of Apple intelligence features. So first of all, if we go into collections, you will notice all of these memories, and this is kind of a slideshow, and it just groups photos into certain ways. Now, these are all created with Apple Intelligence. They are done automatically. The search bar at the bottom right, this also uses Apple Intelligence to try and better find results for any search queries you put in to find images, though I do find it not to be the best. Now, if I tap into a photo and then I tap the triple lines here, we have the new cleanup feature. I say new, this is one year old, but it's new with Apple Intelligence. And when you tap on this one, and let's wait for this to load. If you just draw a circle or tap on an area you want to remove, so I want to remove this bar here, it will use Apple Intelligence and it will try its best to remove that part of the image. Now results may vary. I find very frequently it doesn't do the best job. I'll do it one more time, there we go. And see, it didn't do anything there. If there are humans or objects that it recommends you to remove, it should highlight it and you can just tap it instead of drawing a circle. And there we go, you just tap done if you're happy with the changes. Many of us receive this thing called notifications. So I actually don't have any notifications on this phone, but uh, you can see this device right here has notifications. And if you have apps and games, maybe you have a load of junk showing up. So what you can do, is if you want to reel the notifications with Apple Intelligence, if you go into your settings here, then scroll all the way down until you see notifications. Inside of this one, you have the Apple Intelligence option where we use AI to summarize your notifications or and to prioritize certain notifications over others, depending on what that notification text says. So if it's just a mobile game saying, hey, log in for the free reward, then that won't be prioritized. But if it's a text message saying, hey, I'm in a car crash, come help me, it's gonna be prioritized right there. And not just in notifications, other system apps, you will just notice that AI is being used to, you know, summarize things, help you out, such as in Reminders app, and just other apps that choose to use that feature. Now in iOS 26 and newer, inside of the Messages app, but also inside of other areas such as FaceTime and phone calls, if you have text or audio being put in a different language than the one set in your iPhone, you should have the option to automatically translate the conversation. So I'll tap Translate from French, and you can see it is automatically doing the translation. And so regardless if you're in the call, if you're in the FaceTime, if you're in the messages, if it detects a foreign language, 
There should be a little language icon you can press and when you tap on this one, you can choose to do the translation and you can also stop the translation if you would like. If the translation doesn't automatically appear, if you just long press the message in question, there should be a translate option. So just tap into this one and then I want you to choose translate conversation. And then here we could choose a language that's the other person speaking and then that will turn on the feature. And you know, if I send hi as well, so I'm going to send hi on the other person's end, it will send the English that I sent, but then also the translated version as well. So we can talk back and forth. We can talk in our native languages. And even if one person has the live translate feature on, both people will see the live translation as it is running in the messages app. And that also applies in the FaceTime call. That also play, applies in a phone call. Let's say I'm English here. This one's French. If the French person speaking, you hear English. When you are speaking in English, they will hear French. So very useful feature. Running back to the basics, when you long press the power button, you have that brand new look for Siri. But Siri is also smarter now. It understands context better. If you ask a complicated question, instead of asking the web, it will uh, send you over to ChatGPT, which is the AI uh, from OpenAI, and it actively does help you out. And you know, overall, the intelligent, uh, the responses are just more intelligent. And also, you know, sometimes you just don't want to talk to Siri out in public. So if you just double tap the bottom of your screen, you can use type to Siri as well. And just throughout the operating system, you will notice AI just here and there inside the different apps helping you out as well. Real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos anymore. So if you enjoy the breakdown of Apple intelligence, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found the breakdown useful. Thank you very much. Now you've skipped to this part of the video because your Apple intelligence isn't working, right? When you long press the power button, you get regular Siri. We want the real Apple intelligence. We want all the features working. So let's start by going into our Apple intelligence options and let's see what happens. So my iPhone on the left does show Apple intelligence in Siri, but my iPhone to the right just shows Siri. If you just see Siri here, this is because your iPhone did not get the Apple intelligence feature. So I have iPhone 11 here. This is just too old. Only iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max. This does not include iPhone 15 Plus. So only iPhone 15 Pro Pro Max or iPhone 16s, including non plus uh, and the plus model and then iPhone 17s and newer, all those devices have Apple intelligence. So if you see this option, you are supported. If not, you have to upgrade your iPhone if you want to use the Apple intelligence suite. Now I have Apple intelligence supported in this iPhone 15 pro yet. There's no on toggle and we have an error message right here. So the error message says that my iPhone and Siri are set to different languages. So what this means is under Siri requests, you have a language and so you have the country and region, but then you also have the country and region in another part of your iPhone. So you want to set the Siri request language to the exact country and region you are located in, and then also head into general, then look for where it says language and region. And inside of here, you want to set your region correctly as well. So my region is set right to United Kingdom. If yours isn't, change it. The issue is that my Siri language is set wrong. So my set to English Canada. Let's set that back to English United Kingdom. And there we go. The toggle for Apple intelligence will now show up. If it still doesn't show up, your region might be set right, but your region may not support Apple intelligence. So you should set your region and your language to English United States. You may also, and I, I saw one comment complaining about this, but you may also need to change your keyboard language as well inside of the keyboard settings and just add a keyboard for English United States as well, or English UK if you're from UK, but uh, I don't think you will need to do that. 
Once this is all set, you will have the toggle for Apple Intelligence and you can turn it on. But you can see after you turn it on, it says downloading support for Apple Intelligence. So right now, the new Siri isn't showing, the new features aren't showing. You'll need to wait a good 20 minutes, maybe one hour for all of the model to completely download. It may take even longer. It really just depends on your internet speed. And then once that's downloaded, you can enjoy all of the Apple intelligence features I covered earlier on in the video. I covered all features from iOS 18 to 26 to present. And real quick, if you did find this video useful, I helped you out. YouTube don't promote my videos anymore. So if we wanna help bypass YouTube's filtering, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I found this video really useful, thank you. It really would mean the world to me if you could do that. It helps out so much. Have a nice rest of your day, bye-bye.